Welcome back. We're going to get into the details of the color detection system in the cinematography workspace. We went over this uh, sort of lately in the overview of cinematography, but uh, now we're going to go into a few more details here. The color detection controls here allow you to have four different separate colors saved, okay? These colors are then shown up here in the upper left hand side of this UI and they can be turned on and turned off here at any time. And then you can also reference these in another spot. If you're in the DMX lighting area and you open up the test shots section, you see you have the same controls here and they are the same um, settings. So if you change it here, it will have changed in the other UI. And again, you also see that you have uh, controls up here. And the reason that they're in the DMX is because this is where you might be doing some fine tuning of your lighting for a blue screen or whatever. A lot of times when you're in DMX, you're shooting test shots in the DMX workspace and you are making changes to your images. So in fact, I'll just go ahead and shoot a test shot here to show you what I'm talking about. So there's our test shot. I'm going to turn this little color detection module on here. While that's selected, I'll then grab the eyedropper and we'll go ahead and pick this blue color. I'm going to make this image just a little bit larger. There we go. And you can see that with the current uh, threshold setting here, it's um, you know grabbing all of that color. And so now anywhere I go where it's that blue, I'll get that response. So I can turn it off here. I can turn it on and off here. I can turn it on or off here. It's the same exact palette, just in a different spot. Okay, let's go ahead and program another one. I go ahead and turn it on. I select it, grab the eyedropper. We're gonna go green. And let's see, we were gonna go for a really even color on there. I could lower this threshold and then you know try to light it more evenly. You can see though that the shade on the side is not matching the shade in the middle. Okay, let's do another one, let's do red. So I'm going to turn this one on, it's selected, grab the eyedropper, and boom. It's hard to see these zebra stripes against the red, so you can change the colors. We give you a few different colors. There's uh, kind of a light gray, a dark gray, a red, and a blue. So I'll go light gray. So now that's easy to see against the red. Um, and again, you can, once you have them set, turn them on and off there. This is the kind of tool that you'll find uses for as you are doing more delicate shots where there has to be really tight matching between cuts. Another thing is that if you don't have something to sample, you can actually just click in here and change the numbers like that for the RGB values. So if you've taken notes from maybe another project, you can just write these the numbers down and the tolerance down and just go ahead and, and fill it in. So that's the color detection module. Again, you can access it through the cinematography workspace and the DMX workspace. You can close this palette by just clicking this icon here. And again, you can access these, turning them on and off at any time from up here. So that's our color detection system in Dragonframe 4. Thanks.